So welcome back to this channel. Today I wanted to talk about an issue that we struggle with a lot and it's only human that we go through this kind of feelings and emotions each and every day because as human beings we were made to interact with people, we were meant to try new things, we were meant to do things that we didn't expect to do at that particular time and before we do these kind of things we are always faced with certain fears and those fears uh, evoke doubts in us and those doubts can keep us from doing certain things. Now in this video I'm going to focus on self-doubt What is self-doubt? Self-doubt is a lack of confidence regarding yourself and your abilities. It's a mindset that holds you back from succeeding and believing in yourself. We all experience feelings of self-doubt from time to time. Whether we are starting a new job, new relationship, taking a, a test or exploring new, uh, new areas in, in life and many other things. That's perfectly normal and we should not beat ourselves because of this and now a certain low level of self-criticism can be a good source of motivation it may inspire you to work harder and on your skills to increase your confidence but too much doubt and fear can hold you from performing well and reaching your full potential william shakespeare once said our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we often might win by fearing to attempt and that's very true when it comes to self-doubt so what causes self-doubt one is narcissistic parents often we are scared of repeating our parents mistakes and might be uh, overly cautious in specific decisions as a result but if your parents are narcissistic or arrogant, you may swing to the extreme in response to your parents' characteristics. You may become too modest or unconfident. You may question your own actions. Um, and two, a prolonged self-criticism. Showing yourself tough love can be an effective motivator as it urges you to work harder the next time. But repeatedly criticizing yourself does far more harm than good. Self-sabotage can arise if this behavior continues. Number three is past experiences. Our experiences shape who we are and how we see others and world and the world. Those of us struggle to let go. Failures and setbacks from the past can leave us overwhelmed with self-doubt. The fourth one is fear of both failure and success. The fear of failing, of falling short and disappointing others is just as real as the fear of being unable to replicate our past successes. We might think it was luck that got us this far instead of our own talents if we are filled with doubt. How does self-doubt manifest? So one is imposter syndrome or the illogical fear of often seeing you as a fraud or uh, and, and deserving of compliments. Two is self-sabotage which refers to undermining yourself, your values and your goals. Three is inclusive uh, indecisiveness. Three is indecisiveness due to uh, what is that whatever path you choose will be wrong. All of these things erode your self-esteem over time and increase the negativity with which you view yourself. Now, uh, what are the common indicators you may be dealing with self-doubt in your life? Uh, this, these indicators may include one, inability to accept compliments from others and giving yourself credit. Two, 
constantly seeking uh, reassurances. Three, low self-esteem. And four, feelings of not being good enough. So uh, here are the, some of the good habits that uh, you can use to help you deal with self-doubt. And one is practicing self-compassion. Self-doubt means that you are, high, you are holding yourself back. It arises from the fear of making a mistake, but mistakes are how we grow and improve our own abilities. Affirm yourself every day. The second one is thinking back to your achievements. Self-reflection is a fantastic tool. It reminds us of what we are capable of achieving, but living in the past can take away from the present moment. Learning from what's, uh, what has happened and focusing on using the lessons you've learned from these times to improve the present is what truly matters. The third one is trying not to compare yourself to others. Self-doubt can also arise when you measure yourself up against other people. Everyone's life is different and someone else, someone else excelling doesn't mean you don't have any strengths. Focus on yourself. It's one of the best ways to stay happy and accomplish your dreams. The fourth way is to spend your time with supportive people. Being around people who put us down in one of the, is one of the worst, uh, worst things for our mental health. Some people won't support you, but others absolutely will. Spend your time with people who make you feel good. They can build you up when you are struggling to encourage yourself. The fifth one is remember you are your biggest inner critic. No one holds us to a higher standard than ourselves. You won't put down other people for not achieving certain things. So why do that to yourself? Apologizing to yourself is one of the most important steps towards healing and moving forward. The sixth way is seeking professional help. It's okay to ask for help, especially if self-doubt self is persistent, obstacle that you are facing. Taking, talking about our feelings and insecurities allows us to unburden ourselves and be heard. The seventh way is to keep a gratitude list. Make an effort to record what you are thankful for and what you are proud of doing each day. My journal may cover everything from earning a promotion at work or remembering to do the dishes. The more frequent you practice loving yourself, the easier it gets for you. The eighth one is not to uh, do not believe all your thoughts. Be skeptical of your thoughts. Question how accurate or how helpful they are. Negative thinking is a mental habit that consumes us more than it should. You can undo your habits too. It just takes patience and commitment to be able to uh, let go of all this self-doubt. So I hope that you find this video helpful to you and uh, as you keep on working on your self-doubt, remember that self-love is more important. You could have all these thoughts going on around your head, but they won't stop unless you change how you feel about all these thoughts that you think about every day. Remember that um, you are your own healer because your experiences are unique to yourself and your feelings are unique to yourself. Other people might experience what you're experiencing but they won't experience it the same way you do to, uh, as, as, as yourself. I mean. So I leave you with that and I hope you learn from this video and I hope it is helpful in your journey to rediscover yourself as a human being, as a complete human being, as a loved human being and as a, an important human being. Please always remember to affirm yourself, which is very important. Remember to affirm yourself each and every day that you wake up. When you're leaving the house, please affirm yourself. At least develop a habit of um, saying three nice things to yourself before you leave the house.
each and every time that you are leaving the home. So use this information to help yourself and I wish you a good one. Thank you for watching up to this moment. Bye bye until next time. Thank <laughs> you.